Okay, so let's continue our next video in the AWS series. And this will be a very small video. And this will cover the concept of the delay queue. Basically, it's not a type of a queue, but it is a parameter in the uh, simple queue services as well. But what exactly it is, we should know and we will see in a practical. So we have a normal queue, right? SQS queue, whether it's and standard or whether it's FIFO. So we have the producer, we have the consumer. So when the producer is going to send the message, immediately within a zero second, the message is available and for the consumer to consume. And consumer straightforward can consume the message, right? But if we want, when the producer is sending the message to the queue, it go to the queue, but it will, for the consumer, it might be visible after maybe five minutes or after 10 minutes or after 10 seconds. Right, so it should not be immediately available to the consumer. All right, then we can set one parameter called delay. All right, so that's why it's called a delay queue. So delay queue is to delay a message to the consumer so that they do not see it immediately. And we can set this parameter to 15 minutes. And by default, as I told you, it's zero second. It means as soon as you send the message or the producer send the message, it is straightforward uh, available to the consumer. All right, so let's say in a demo, so we are going to create a queue and we are going to create a send queue and we will cut as a delay queue demo. All right, and if you see, there is a parameter called delivery delay and by default, it's zero second. We can set it as a 10 second, which means uh, after 10 seconds, the message will be available uh, for the consumer and we can create a queue. So queue has been created and now if I send the message and before sending the message, so let me make our consumer up. Consumer up means consumer is pulling the messages and let me send the message, I delay message. And you could see uh, that delay setting is at the queue level, but we can we can like uh, uh, override that parameter while sending the message. Let it be same uh, uh, as a 10 second and we can we can send the message so message has been sent but it is not available right now it is going to be available 10 seconds maybe 10 9 8 and maybe again poll yeah so maybe 10 seconds has been lapsed and now the message is available all right and uh, the only thing is like uh, it, it will be useful and as a developer you should know and one more thing uh, we can set at, it as a two level. One is at the queue level while creating a queue. Along with that, we can override this uh, this parameter uh, while sending the message. So you could see, even though at the queue level, it is 10 seconds. But for the particular message, if I want, okay, no, at the queue level, it is 10 seconds. But the particular message I want, it should be available immediately. I can set it as a zero second. Or maybe I want, no, no, it should be available after 50 seconds. I can override it. So... Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video and uh, thank you.